What's up, everybody? It's Easy Industry Gaming, bringing you the Brutal Age Partner Guide, Take 14. This is on the Green Smilodon. It's a new partner we just got in this new event that they had. It's the Mid Autumn uh, Kermis. I don't know where they come up with these names, but that's what it's <laughs> the event is from. Basically, the way you get it is you'll use speed ups, and once you use a certain amount of speed ups, you'll get these flowers. Then you trade the flowers in for 50 shards for the Smilodon. Just be sure you're smart about the speed ups and don't go changing your game plan because you have because you have to use speed ups and use them in like odd places. In the video, I went in and, and sped up the research. You can also speed up your troops that will increase your power. Uh, now, once you get the partner, you can also keep on getting these flowers and get a bunch of other things. They also have other uh, smaller dons you can get, but they are really going to be hard to get. I think you have to spend 200 totals for the red and even more for the blue. So the green, everyone's going to have the green. You'll notice that a bunch of people are going to have the green. Um, now, what you want to do is you want to upgrade it pretty far before you put it into action. So I got mine to level 22 and I, it still really wasn't high enough. So I went and spun some more turtles and these are just the free ones you get. And you get the level 1 and level 2 heroes for, for it. Then you go back over to the altar and you really want to get... Uh, my rule of thumb is for a four star I try to get it to level 25 that way I'm only having five levels to get in adventure because when, uh, and level 25 to 30 is quite a few attacks uh, every time you go up a level it takes a little more to get to the next level so it's not the same as a three star you have to do quite a few attacks to get from level 25 to 30 you don't want to spend a month trying to level up Smilodon <laughs> now if you look at the hero's description it says he's an attack partner with high CR critical rate so what we want to do is push these skills even further remember you don't want to supplement things that, the, that he doesn't have you want to really complement what he does have that's the best way to work all your partners you don't want to take a defense partner and make him an attacker you don't want to t take an attacking partner and make him a defense so we already know that they've that they've pushed ahead the critical rate so that's what we want to kind of work on plus he's an attack partner that does attacks based on his hit points so left hand and right hand you want attack percentage and hit point percentage on either one so if you have attack percentage on the left hand go hit point percentage on the right hand on on the on the helmet you want critical rate and i would suggest getting badger and wolf now some people may want to put all hippo on it to get his his, uh, his hit points way up there but i believe that with badger and wolf and then putting hit point percentage and attack percentage and make sure you get critical rate and as many of the other uh, war patterns as you can as a second or third attribute now he's got his three skills you have to kind of dig deep to find the, the real value in them but one of his skills doesn't have a CD that means it's on all the time it's called fearlessness and he adds 20% critical rate to every one of his attacks also with that skill it says lower hit points means higher attack and it's kind of confusing so I, I'll, I'll tell you why I came to the conclusion I did but I believe it's the lower the hit points of your opponent gets the higher his attacks get his second skill is called tusk and it's an attack based on his max per, per, uh, hit point or, or health point percentage so you want to get his, his health, health point hit points up as high as possible we've seen several other partners like that um, the last skill is the wild claw and this is kind of like going in for the kill when the enemy hit point is less than 50 percent then he does 30 percent more damage and i think this is kind of a hint towards the other his other skill uh fearlessness where the lower their hit points get the, the higher his attacks get so i know the wording is kind of difficult but i looked around and i found uh on the fierce beast it wasn't actually the green one but uh that's what we got <laughs> He, he also damages based on a percentage of his max hit points very similar wording to smile on so I believe that they're they're similar as far as their attacks go and keep in mind that smile on is a single target attacker so you want to make sure you put him in the right team so a team with like blue black shaman and then you have the red nomad now I say red nomad because one of his nemesis is blue nomad and I really believe that uh, the green Smilodon would do really well against the blue uh, blue nomad and then that you know the speedster team finishes off with the dr uh, green dragon man another good team would be to have the green demon killer blue berserker uh, red guitarist this is another common team and you can just add him in as another uh, high-end attacker and just keep in mind though single target attacker I think his biggest benefit 
that we're going to see is that he's going to kind of come in and close the deal on some of these really tough heroes that we have a hard time taking out because they heal themselves on every single attack. So we'll call him the natural born killer. I think he'll be able to kill the blue nomad and, and uh, the blue elephant and the blue boar. These are all heroes that we have a hard time killing. But because of his skill level, because of the critical rate going up, uh, because as their hit points go down, his attacks go up, I believe he'll be able to close the deal on those types of heroes. Especially on blue, because that's where green is, is most effective against. Some tips on the green smile on. Read, their, read his skills carefully. I had to read his skills 50 times before I could figure everything out. So that, that's a good tip for any one of the heroes. Um, always enhance, never supplement. And that goes for if he's a if his defense is super high, then you don't go and give him a bunch of attack. You 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 increase the defense. Green Smilodon has that 40% attack um, boost leader skill. Um, now that's only for wild, so it's only for green. It's very similar to the green double blade girl. So be really good against the lonely warrior. And last thing, really quick, make sure you get his critical rate up over 100. Concentrate on that critical rate. Get it up over 100. I think you'll be really impressed with some of the things you'll see from the Smilodon. If you saw the attack in the background, he did some great damage. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I think everyone's going to have this. We're going to see a bunch of it. So until next time, it's been easy.